According to the World Health Organization, blood transfusion and blood-related products help save millions of lives every year. This reminder is necessary as we mark World Blood Donor Day. Marked on June 14 every year, the day serves to appreciate those who willingly give the life-saving gift of blood to enhance awareness on the need for quality blood products for those in need of blood transfusion. In Nigeria, available statistics indicate that someone needs blood every two seconds. It is estimated that about 1.5 million units of blood are required per annum in Nigeria, but sadly, far less is sourced. Investigations by PLOS TV Africa confirm a lukewarm response among Nigerians as shown in some of the reactions by our respondents. So what we are not talking about now is how, uh, how healthy are those people that want to donate the blood. Myself, I will find it difficult to donate. Myself, if you check myself now, I don't think I don't even have blood to donate. You understand me? But I thank whoever that is donating blood. I'm scared of this. That injection, I'm scared of the injection. So I cannot allow them to just collect my blood like that. Uh, probably because they have not been sensitized about it. They have not had um, adequate information as regards that. So what they need to do is to reach out to people and see the need for them doing that. Me personally, I don't think I can. I'm afraid. When you have enough, before you can donate now. We talked to an international cardiologist and medical director of Eurocare Multi-Specialist Hospital on this worrying development. Well, the first thing to say is it's very good that um, there's recognition of World Blood Donation Day today. Um, and I think it gives us an opportunity to remind the general public of the importance of blood donation. Um, that blood does not just come from anywhere. It's not manufactured in a factory. It has to be donated by people. Um, now, obviously, there are several uh, concerns regarding the uh, receipt of blood products in general, and these obviously have to do with um, infectious disease transmission, notably hepatitis and HIV, and in some cases, some diseases that we may not even be aware of today. Well, that is something that has to be very strongly frowned upon. Um, there are, in Lagos, we certainly have a number of regulatory bodies which would be um, in a position to do something about legitimate hospitals engaging in such practices. I would certainly urge any healthcare facilities to ensure that any uh, blood that they use within their facilities uh, can only come from accredited blood donation services from Lagos State, which would be through the Lagos State Blood Transfusion. Well, one of the benefits that, that uh, can accrue from um, donating blood is that it gives people an opportunity to be screened for certain diseases like HIV, hepatitis, um, it gives an opportunity to know what your blood type is and in some opportunities to know what your genotype is, which some people don't know. And I would strongly encourage anyone listening that if they are fit, healthy, and meet the criteria to be able to donate blood, that they should please try and attempt to go somewhere uh, to their nearest local play, uh, hospital or healthcare center where they will be able to donate some blood. In keeping with the theme for this year's commemoration of World Blood Donor Day, be there for someone else, give blood, share life. My name is Felicity Ezewike, reporting for Plus TV Africa.